Welcome back fellow adventurers to the Vagabond channel. Today, we're embarking on an unforgettable journey to a hidden gem in Europe that has been kept secret for far too long. Albania. Get ready to discover the mesmerizing beauty and unique charm of this remarkable country. From breathtaking landscapes to captivating culture, Albania offers an extraordinary experience that will leave you awe-inspired. So, let's dive right in this fascinating country. Now is the time to visit the best places in Albania, as word is quickly spreading about what this hidden gem has to offer. Dermi, with its welcoming turquoise waters and beautiful beaches that stretch into the distance, the gorgeous scenery of Dermi is where many young Albanians head to in the summer. It is also home to some pulsating nightlife. Located on a mountain slope overlooking the sea, the town boasts some stunning sunsets. Grabbing a drink at one of its numerous bars and restaurants while watching the sun go down is a lovely way to spend an evening. While there is a fun and festive atmosphere about the place, with lively beachside bars blaring out music, there is more than enough beach to go around, you can always find a peaceful spot to simply kick back and enjoy the scenery of the Albanian Riviera. Durs, once the capital of Albania, Durs is located not far from Tirana on the country's coastline. It is a very popular destination, which means that it can get a bit crowded during the summer. With one of the largest ports in the Adriatic, the city is a bit stuffy and overdeveloped, although there is a nice stretch of beach for visitors and locals alike to enjoy. Along the seafront, there are lots of restaurants selling delicious fresh seafood. Fought over for millennia by the Bulgarians, Greeks, Venetians, and Ottomans, among others, its wealth of historic sites entices just as many people as its beaches. The spectacular Roman amphitheater and fantastic archaeological museum are the undoubted highlights. Sarand, with its stunning location on the Ionian Sea, Sarand is blessed with year-round warm weather, sparkling waters, and a relaxed way of life. While the seafront is a bit overdeveloped with its line of identity-less apartment blocks, there are lots of nice parts of Sarand to walk around, and loads of bars, restaurants and souvenir shops on offer. In addition to the ancient ruins found in town, Sarin's surroundings are full of historic sites and natural beauty, making it a great place to use as a base to explore the region. Shkadra, lying just a stone's throw away from huge lake skater that straddles the Montenegro-Albania border, Shkadra is a very pretty city to visit. The Buna River runs through town, and the Albanian Alps can be seen off in the distance. The undoubted highlight is Razafa Castle. Over the course of its history, it has been ruled by the Illyrians, Venetians, and Ottomans, to name a few. The magnificent tramparts and ruins of the castle are fun to explore, and the views over Shkadra are breathtaking. Although the center of the city has recently undergone extensive renovations, there are still plenty of lovely old buildings and historic sites to be found, such as the Ebu Beker Mosque and Orthodox Cathedral. The historical museum showcases just some of the region's rich history and heritage, with so much beautiful countryside surrounding Shkadra for visitors to explore, there is something for everyone to enjoy. Barrett, widely regarded as one of the prettiest cities in the whole of the Balkans, Barrett is known as the town of a thousand windows, as so many windows peer out at you from the front of its hillside buildings, which are so tightly clustered together. Located on a hillside, there are a number of Ottoman-era mosques and Byzantine churches scattered about town. One of the best views of Barrett is from across the banks of the Asumi River which runs through it. While simply wandering around Barrett is a lovely way to spend the time, the town also has a great 13th century hilltop castle, which is worth visiting visiting for the outstanding views. There are also two interesting museums with some fascinating local costumes and artifacts on display, and some splendid 16th century icons. Himmer, with its beautiful setting on the Albanian Riviera, Himmer's sparkling turquoise waters and spectacular hilly coastline make it a great place to head if you're after some sun, sea, and sand. While its beaches and peaceful seaside promenade are what most people come for, the historic old town is lovely to wander around. Its atmospheric tavernas are full of Mediterranean charm and delicious local seafood. Perched atop a hill overlooking the old town is a delightful castle, which offers wonderful views over the sea. The nearby mountains also have some lovely trails and viewpoints for visitors to enjoy, while the surrounding countryside is home to spectacular churches and monasteries, such as the Monastery of the Cross and Athaliatissa. Jirikaster, located in the south of the country, Jirikaster is a delight to visit. Its beautiful
beautiful old town is perched on the side of a hill overlooking a valley and its winding cobbled streets are full of quaint buildings and historic sites. With over 500 homes and buildings protected and preserved as cultural monuments, Jericaster is full of wonderful architecture. It is often known as the City of Stone due to the distinctive local roofs that can be seen everywhere you go. Perched above the scenic old bazaar is Jericaster Castle, reputed to be the second largest in the whole of the Balkans. A fascinating place to visit, the castle has an underground Cold War era bunker and an armaments museum for visitors to enjoy, alongside its impressive fortifications and ruins. Kruj, lying just to the north of Tirana, Kruj or Kruja, as it is known in English is famous for being the home city of Albania's national hero Gjurgj Skanderbeg. In the 15th century, Gjurgj managed to hold out against the Ottomans for 25 years from his base in Kruj. Known as the Adriatic Balcony by locals, the craggy mountain that looks over the city is home to the majestic Kruj Castle, which was once Skanderbeg's base. There is an interesting museum about the hero, as well as a fantastic 15th century church located within its walls. The panoramic views from the castle are simply spectacular. The old bazaar in the center of town is just as fascinating to walk around. Nestled away amongst its atmospheric streets, you'll find some delightful little cafes and restaurants, alongside the plethora of shops selling anything from souvenirs and artisan goods to antiques and leather products. A picturesque and peaceful place, Kruge is well worth visiting for its historic sites and beautiful natural setting. The surrounding area is equally enchanting to explore, with its lakes, canyons, and mountains. Butrant National Park, home to a number of diverse ecosystems and stunning archaeological sites, Butrant National Park is a popular tourist destination, in large part due to its proximity to the Greek island of Corfu, covering a peninsula that is bordered by the huge Lake Butrant on one side and the Vivari Channel on the other. The natural beauty is magnificent, over 1,200 different types of animals and plants reside amongst its scenic wetlands, hills, and islands. The main attraction, however, is the amazing archaeological site which covers over 2,500 years of history. This includes ancient city walls, remnants of a Roman theater, a Byzantine basilica and two castles. Wandering around the ruins with the beautiful scenery all around you is a delightful experience. This is undoubtedly one of the hidden gems of what Albania has to offer. Tirana, once full of grey, unwelcoming communist buildings, Tirana has transformed considerably since the early 90s. Albania's capital is now a fun, friendly and festive place to visit. Full of life, the now brightly colored pedestrian streets showcase some delightful Ottoman era buildings and Italian architecture that highlights the country's rich past. There are a number of great museums and art galleries worth checking out. Of particular interest is Bunker, which was once a huge government bunker, but now hosts art installations. While it can be slightly chaotic in the traffic-filled center of town, the scenic Mount Dajti is just a short cable car ride away. With fantastic views of the city below and resplendent nature all around, it's a lovely place to spend an afternoon. With endless bars, cafes, and restaurants to be found around the trendy Bloku area, Tirana has a lively nightlife scene. Visitors to this under-visited capital invariably come away impressed of all that the city has to offer. To truly experience Albania, indulge in its delectable cuisine. Don't miss the opportunity to try traditional dishes like Bayrak, savory pastry, for G's, baked cheese and peppers, and mouth-watering baklava. The country's flavorsome food is an integral part of its culture. Albania, a hidden gem nestled in the heart of Europe, awaits your exploration. With its enchanting landscapes, rich culture, and warm hospitality, this is a journey you'll cherish for a lifetime. So, pack your bags and let the Vagabond channel be your guide to uncovering the magic of Albania. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and join us as we explore the world's best-kept secrets together. Until next time, happy travels!